Hey everybody, I'm Chris Troutner. Uh, I just released some software that lets you take a Node application, specifically a COA, uh, which is similar to Express, a uh, web server, and uh, their, uh, Express and COA are packages that are really helpful for creating REST uh, APIs for passing data back and forth around the internet and doing most of what we consider a web app, um, the back end. Uh, and so what I've done today is I have combined two boilerplates, a back end, which is the API, the REST API, and then the front end, which is like what actually happens in the web browser and the user interface. And it's just a, a basic demo that lets you log in and authenticate, which and then display like private information to a logged in user. So that's like the very basic. And I've released both of these repositories, the front end and the back end, and then I released a third repository that combines them into one uh, sort of installation that you can then pipe over Tor, which lets you provide both websites and web app uh, features uh, to people using Tor browser. And what this does is it it hides the server. So if you're doing something that's sort of in a legally gray area, like exchanging cryptocurrency, or um, you know that's that's the the main use case I, I'm I'm planning to use it for is doing Bitcoin Cash related applications that mm, might fall into a gray area legally, and so I'd rather just hide them inside the Tor network and not have to worry about uh, you know what some particular government thinks that what I'm doing is right or wrong. And uh, I don't plan to actually use this, but that's the use case that I built this application for. So if that sounds interesting to you, let me walk you through how to install it and use it. Uh, so I'm going to go over real quickly the Tor API installation, and then we're going to view the web app in a Tor browser. And then I'm going to follow up by installing this Gatsby login boilerplate that uh, demonstrates the, the authentication. This will make more sense as I, as I go on, but uh, there's three links that you should uh, pay attention to. This COA API boilerplate, oops, this top one, COA API boilerplate, this is the uh, back end. The Gatsby login, that's the front end. And then this Tor API is the repository that combines this COA API boilerplate backend and pipes it through Tor. So I've already got these links up, up, on, the, up on the website. So I'm going to start by showing this COA API boilerplate. This is the backend that lets you do uh, REST APIs and lets you do basic user authentication. So if you scroll down to the README, you can get more of a sense of where it came from, uh, the features that I've added, um, the major features it provides in terms of authentication, database testing, documentation generation. Um, this is just a really good boilerplate. And boilerplates are just like basically a standardized, simple project that you can start from and quickly get up to speed and launch an application. So that's the intention here. So I took this and forked it into this Tor API repository. And so we're going to start with this. This is what I'm going to show. And I have installation steps here. I've already increased my swap space. I've already installed Docker. And I've already installed Docker Compose. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to clone the repository. URL. Okay, so there's, I've cloned the repository and I've entered the directory. Now I'm going to build it. And I've actually already built it, so that's why it's so fast. Um, and then I'm going to run it with Docker Compose. Now there's three containers going on here. There's the MongoDB database is in a container, then there's the COA application running through Node.js, and that's in its own container. And then what you're seeing come up here is the Tor container, uh, which is connecting to the Tor network and piping the address 
uh, over to the um, over to Tor, and you can see right here at the top, it gives me my Tor Onion address. Now, before I go there, I'm just going to make sure that I have the containers that I want to have. So, see, there's this static directory right here, and if I list, I can see that it's actually not under my user. It's uh, it's under the root user because it was created by Docker, and Docker runs with root permissions. So real quick, and I have a note about this uh, right here in the in the README. I'm going to change the ownership of the folder to myself. Now, if I list all, I can see that it is now under my username. Yeah, okay, I was just making sure uh, there's this index.html file that should have gotten copied, but it's not, so you might have to do this. Okay, so now I have a really simple index.html file in the static directory. If I go over here and I copy my onion address, uh, I've already got Tor Browser up and running, so I can paste in this onion address. And you can see this simple application just came up. That's all it is. It's just a heading and a paragraph. And we can see in the log here that it, that it pulled it up. Uh, so, so we are now serving web content. Uh, over Tor, and so that's a pretty cool thing. But let's take it to the next step. I've got the Gatsby login, so that is <clears throat> this repository right here. Uh, this is the front end, and I've already built it. Uh, if you read through the README, it'll show you how to uh, how to build it, and um, I've already done so right here in this directory and when you when you go npm run build and you build it it will create this public directory and so it's already been built it's already there I'm going to copy everything in this directory and I'm going to dump it into the static directory on my Tor API repository and so if I go back here to the stack directory, I can see there's a lot more in this directory now than just that index.html file. So now if I refresh, the front end of the web app uh, comes up and it's just a very simple login application to show uh, the login. Um, so let's see, right, I'm going to create uh, a user with login name Chris and password Chris. I'm going to hit create. And there it went through. And if we look at the uh, the output of the Docker containers, you can see all the API calls that, that got made. And so this is just a real quick demo. There's just two pages. Uh, there's the home page, which is a login uh, challenge. And then once you're logged in, it just automatically sends you to this profile page which just displays your username and, and a jot. And if you don't know what jots are, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can log in and log out. And so now if I try to go to the home page, it'll stop me and send me back to this login page because I'm not logged in. And then I can log back in as the user I just created. And there it logged me in. And so now I'm on the profile page. And that's all it is, just these two, these two pages. And uh, it's just exercising these REST endpoints that do authentication and user login. And so that's all it is. Like this is a, that's why it's called a boilerplate. You can start from here. You can fork this code and start from here to build your own full stack web app in JavaScript. And uh, you can serve your content over the Tor network using uh, this Docker container. So I hope this uh, is interesting to you and I hope to see more development happening happening in the Tor network and more web apps moving to the Tor network, uh, I think that would be very beneficial for everyone.